All right, Elder Edwards, Maurice, it's Nick. How are you? Symbolic. Um, uh, in response to your video on the failure of the black church, uh, I'm sorry you weren't on the show with us, man. It would have been great to have you on the show, uh, especially with your insight into all the topics, you're being an elder and all. Uh, anyway, maybe there'll be a part two or something, huh? Um, so, uh, great video, but I gotta, you know, we had this conversation about a year ago, and I gotta, I just gotta talk to you about it again, where you talk about taking religion out of the schools and shutting the door on religion in the schools. The public schools are not supposed to be religious. They're supposed to be secular. They're for the public. The entire public is not Christian. There are Muslims, there are atheists, there are Satanists, you know. Um, so religion should not be in the schools. That would be a form of compulsory religion. It violates people's individual rights. Now, let's say for some reason you wake up tomorrow and the majority of the country has converted to Satanism and they want to put religion in the schools. What do you do? Send your children to schools to learn where they have Satanism imposed on them? You see what I mean? No one religion has the right to take over the schools and to dictate what the children and the youth are taught. Religion is for the home and for the church to teach, or the temple, or the mosque, or what have you. Um, and uh, if, if you want to, you know, a parent has a right to send their child to a particular religious school if they wish, but not the public schools. You know, people wonder why atheists get angry on YouTube. And I gotta tell you, th this is one of those areas. No one steps on the rights of my family, my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren by putting their particular religion in the public schools and inculcating my family in their religious belief. That's the way it is. If there's a movement to put prayer back in the schools, I fight it tooth and nail. Tooth and nail. It is unjust and it is narcissistic and self-centered. Unbelievable, man. I had to bring this up, my friend. We had this conversation about a year ago. You didn't hear me. There is no reason my family should be forced to accept your religion in a public school or anybody's religion. Please hear me on this, man. If I want them to learn that, I'll send them to a church, but not to public school. Hear me, man. You know it's inherently unfair. It tramples my individual religious rights. Okay? Please hear me, man. 